elected at a young age, Nimru gained the title of Queen of Blood barely three years into her reign over the north. The Queen of Blood soon grew to be the most feared monarch the Kingdom of the North had ever had. Things only got worse with the arrival of a universally feared warlock. On her own, the Queen of Blood had ruled her kingdom with an iron fist, and a stone heart. It was Rasputin who turned her into a tyrannical dictator, and Rasputin who was the cause of her demise. It is unclear if he had planned out the evening of the Queen's fall, but on the night she was thrown from power, Rasputin slipped from her side, unnoticed. He vanished into the shadows as the people of the North stormed the Palace of Blood, fueled by rage, and having every intention of killing the Queen. Trapped in the throne room with an army approaching and no way out, the Queen of Blood resigned herself to her fate, preparing herself for death. But death did not come. As the doors to the throne room were forced open, a strange white light enveloped the queen. When the light cleared, she found herself locked away in the darkest pits, cursed to remain for the rest of eternity.